Hey everybody again, play 48 of Five here, and welcome to more The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 1. This should be part 6, I believe. Seriously, he couldn't just get out. All right, then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. As far as I got when it came to supply gear. I might have an idea for it. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. See the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper.
That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two uh, more. Yeah, that should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Right behind, they mean at these stairs. Far away from me. Really, different opinions about what's right behind. Excuse me, ma'am. May I ask you a question? Thank you for your time. Rad. Well, that was lame. I'm just so good. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Fine. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. Oh I don't God. want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. 
You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. I see it is a little bit better of just ending her God misery bless you, than just right. letting her God bless you too. torture her for so long. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine, and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. outside let's have a look around okay so I guess it's been about four or five minutes perhaps awesome now to distract those things carefully I mean seriously sure it can maybe be a little bit tricky to be, get a good throw from here but you can still reach through the fucking bars and pick up the brick. Seriously. They're not that wide. They're not that slim. a couple minutes ago. Holy crap! Run! 
Wow, thanks, dude. Thanks, really, really appreciate it for attracting your fucking attention. Well done. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Citizens choose to stay in their homes. They are urged to be near their 
I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up with the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. I'm sorry, Doug. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed help. No. I guess that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish you would have picked her. I'm sorry, but Carla was just fucking useless. She can't operate a fucking radio. She's dumb as shit, and all she can do is shoot. And a lot of other people can fucking shoot. This guy can drill fucking TVs. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's. I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. 
What do you want? You like my daughter? Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Or everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Well, Larry's an asshole. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Checking off for a bit. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. In about 20 minutes. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. That's convenient. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take you on! There's too many of them! Yeah! part don't you you know you want it okay honestly did I lie to Herschel I stayed honest to the over 63% who would you save Dr. Sean I tried to save Duck again I don't really like Duck but I tried to save him because I was thinking I could back off the tractor to get him lo the other guy lose and save both of them Mercy gave Irene the gun I decided to let her kill herself you saved Doug or Carly Decides to go for Doug because, again, Carly's fucking useless. Oh, she can shoot. Big deal. I can too. So that was season... That was the first episode out of five. I will continue doing this whole game and then I'll start on season two. Um, yeah. That's about it. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.